Today we're going to be going over a few feature sets within our Mint point of sale system. The first feature we're going to cover is how to log into the system. Here on the user identification screen, you can see all the employees that are in your establishment and each person will have a specific login code. To log in, all you have to do is go down to the keypad and type in your specific code and that'll take you to the home screen. Once you're logged in, this will take you to the home screen, which you can see here. Next feature that we're going to cover is how to do a cash in to start the day. What you're going to do is go down to the actions button, click on cash movement, and you're going to hit insert. We're then going to type the description as a cash in, as well as the type will be cash in. The tender media you'll leave as cash and the amount can be whatever you want to start with for the day. Once you hit accept, you hit accept again to print the receipt and leave this in the cash drawer for the end of day purposes. One great feature about Mint POS is that our integrations team can customize your menu to be exactly how you want it on the point of sale system. Here we'll navigate between different departments of a menu where each according item in that department will show up below. Within these items, we can even customize add-on charges or even specific modifiers that you'd want on the item itself. None of these are required, but they are able to be added. The next feature we're going to cover is how to finalize a sale. Once you have an item rung in, you can either opt to use our quick tender button here, which is set for credit cards. Once you click that button, it's going to auto prompt you to swipe the card to finalize the sale. But in this case, the customer is going to pay with cash. So what we'll do is click on the little wallet, which will take you to your final payment screen, showing you an itemized receipt. It'll show you the payment due, as well as all your tender types. In this case, they're going to pay with $15 cash. You hit, the, you hit the amount, and then you also hit the tender type. It's going to show you exactly what's due. And in this case, all we do is hit finish. It's going to open the cash drawer, print out a receipt, and your customer will be good to go. The next feature we'll cover is how to open a ticket on a table and then also split that ticket between two customers. Here at the bottom of the screen, you can see all the table layouts that we have for this particular demo. With your restaurant, all you have to do is send us your table layouts and we'll go ahead and customize that for you. In this case, we'll go ahead and click on the patio, click on a table and open a new tab. I'll go through this quickly, adding a few drinks, a couple sides and a few entrees. Once we have the ticket here, we can hit this green download button. That's going to actually send the ticket back to the kitchen so the food can start getting prepared and also save that ticket on the customer's table. When it comes time for the, the customer to pay and leave, you go back to their table, click on the ticket. It's going to show the according items here. You're going to load that ticket up and we're going to go to the payment screen again. Once we're on the payment screen, you can go up to this option where it says split. It's going to ask you if you want to split the receipt and you just say yes. You'll then go ahead and click on the appropriate items that are going to be split between both customers. Here it will show the, to the totals on each receipt and you'll hit the finalize button. It's going to bring up the first receipt here. You would then hit print preview on both of these. It's going to pull both up back to back. You can bring the receipts to the customers. They're going to give you whatever you're going to pay with cash or credit card. And then you'll come back to the payment screen. We'll just say that they've already gave you the cash and they're, you're back at the payment screen here to finalize. So what you'll do is you'll hit the amount of cash they paid with. You're going to finalize this receipt and then it's going to automatically bring up the next receipt on that table. When it comes time to closing the day, I'll go ahead and show you how to close out the terminal. What you'll do is go ahead and click on the terminal button here at the top. It's going to then highlight the day that's open. You can see here under the status option. What you'll do is make sure that's highlighted and hit close. It's then going to give you an itemized list of how many transactions you guys did, as well as what type of tender you took and the amount of each tender. Over here on your cash deficit is showing you this is how much money should be in the cash drawer. What you'll want to do is gather all your credit card receipts and also count the cash. When you enter your credit card totals, you'll hit the number and credit card. And as far as the cash goes, you'll hit your number as well. 
and it should show the balance should be correct. Once this is done, all you do is hit accept, hit accept again, and it's gonna print out you an end of day report. You can also take that, use it for back office purposes or leave it in the cash drawer for the next day. Thanks for taking the time to view this demo. If you have any other specific questions or would like to just see more of an in-depth overview of the software, be sure to give us a call at the number below and anyone who answers will be able to accommodate your questions.